Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So uh, if you've seen in a previous video I made a garden bench and that is the bench right there. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to sort of match this up with uh, a garden chair to go with it. So um, again I used some more skids from the pallets and I had some leftover bed slats from a single bed. So the first thing to do was to just draw up a little a rough sketch um, on a piece of scrap wood just to get a rough idea of how I wanted it to look. So then I went ahead and laid out those skids to get a rough idea of the size and I roughly matched up the size comparable to the bench and then I made some marks ready to make some cuts. So then I cut out those pieces on the mitre saw and I'm doing that indoors at the moment because the weather was really bad this week. Um, it was rained practically every day. So there is the basic structure and at the bottom there I'm going to cut a piece which the uh, the base of the chair is going to go on to, like a support. And uh, for that I'm using some 2x4. So then I wanted to cut um, a couple of blocks which are going to support the armrest and you'll see how that works in a moment um, very similar to the way I made the bench originally so now it's time to glue and screw these two side frames together and first I'm going to add those blocks, those supports for the armrests along the back so for the frame I um, poorly told and screwed and glued everything together and I used some ceramic coated decking screws for that. And to add these uh, bottom supports, I've used some really long decking screws just to make sure that never moves. So that was the frame so far. I just now need to add those armrests. And as you can see those supporting blocks, they just help to support the back of the armrest and they just help to line it up with the front as well. So it's much easier to assemble. And for the screws here, because your arms go on there, I wanted the, uh, the screws to sit flush 
so I we'll just uh, countersunk them, countersunk them. So at this stage it was really coming along and the next thing to do was to add the seat part. So for that I used bed slats and the first thing was to roughly work out the width that I wanted. So when I uh, figured that out I just made a mark and then I cut all these pieces to the same width. So the same again, I screwed and glued them and I piloted a hole first. Um, I added the front piece and the back piece first to make sure everything was square and then I used um, a little piece of wood as a spacer to get equal spacing between all those slats. And to attach all these I just used a standard wood screw. When you're doing something like this it really helps to have two drills, one to drill the pilot holes and then one to screw the screws in. And I did the same procedure for the back, so the slats at the back are just the exact width of the back frame. And again I used a spacer and uh, screwed and glued them down. So now I decided to put like a top edge just to protect those end grains from the rain and just to make it look a bit neater. So I just got a little scrap of wood and uh, glued and screwed that on as well.
So that was it, it's nearly complete at this point. Um, just to neaten it up a bit, I decided to add a bit of trim to the front to make it look a bit nicer. So this piece is just a piece of pallet wood, um, just one pallet wood slat, quite a thick, chunky one. And as you can see, it just hides that front end and neatens everything up. And it will also add a bit of structure as well, a bit of support. So now, as I did with the bench, I used um, a can to draw a circular shape around the end of the armrest. And then I went in with the jigsaw and uh, cut around that. So the final thing to do now was to give it all a really good sanding down and I used an 80 grit for this, so there's a nice rough sanding down because it is all quite rough cut wood and then I gave it a paint. And if you haven't seen my original bench video, I'll leave a link below so that you can check that one out as well. Here I just took my time and gave everything two coats of um, stain and just made sure I got that paint into every little gap. And because it's rough sawn wood, it really soaks up the paint nicely. So there you have it, a really quick and easy um, build, I had a lot of fun making this. It's made out of 100% recycled wood, it costs practically nothing to make apart from the glue and the screws. So thank you very much for watching, if you found this video useful please leave me a like and uh, also consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you've got any questions please let me know below. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.